after getting the first dub of the season in the week at Fratton Park. Attention terms to league and our trip to Bristol City. Can we get the first three points of the season? I think we can, you know. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Please put a like, comment, subscribe, and share as always. If you're a law line and have yet to have done that, what are you doing? It really, really does help me and the channel out in the long run. And we have been progressing. Right, intro done. Happy Friday. This is our pre-match prediction for our trip to Farmerland and Bristol with shitty. They can't read, they can't write, but they can drive a tractor. Let's hope they can't win a fucking game of football either. Um... We go to Bristol City. Um, Bristol City lost in the week to Coventry City in the the Carabao one in the cup. Um, but Mill did actually get their first win of the season. Um, but let's hope we can get our first regular league win tomorrow at Bristol City. Um, Bristol City, of course, managed by Liam Manning. I've never really seen the way Liam Manning um, play football, but he got them organised last season, Bristol City, and they do play some good stuff at times. They do play some good stuff. They knock the ball around good at times. Um, but we did actually win there um, over the Christmas period last season, didn't we? A last-minute win up from our leader, Sean Hutchinson. Um, but look... I am, can we get the job done tomorrow? I think we can. I think we can. I, I see some good, good, good improvements in the second half performance last weekend. I think we were unlucky to lose that game. But we lost that game and we showed great desire to bounce back and get the first win um, of the season in the week at Portman Road in the Cup against Portsmouth. But um, what is he going to go with? I think he's going to go with something similar to the opening day but I think he is going to bite the bullet and give the chance to Idamar Maku on that left hand side but look if we stick to what we're good at I don't think we should play the way I do believe he will play I'm going to show you the team that I would go with this is not the team that I think the gaffer will go with but I'm going to go with the, I'm going to show you the team that I will go with we have to play to up top we have to play to up top. A Millwall team, any successful Millwall team, knows that we get the best out of our players playing two up top. Um, and the two up top formations have gone out of fashion, really. But Neil Harris is going to bring them back. Um, we we showed um, we 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 showed some good things in the week. We um, especially at Portsmouth, I thought we pressed really well. I thought we and deserved to win the game. But I'm talking about last weekend. I thought we played well. I thought we played well, especially in the second half. We moved the ball so so well um, um, and created some golden opportunities in that second half. And I thought we were unlucky um, not to not to come away at least with something. I thought. Um, Lonstaff on his debut last weekend was good. He come on and hit the bar. Um, and I thought, especially in the week against Portsmouth, I thought he was really, really good as well. So I think he deserves the chance to make his first proper Millwall start in the league. Do you get where I'm coming from? Um, but Bristol City have got some good players. They move the ball well. They move the ball sharply. So we need to be on it. Um, but... We need to do what we're good at. Don't worry about Bristol City. Don't worry about Bristol City. Play to our strengths and we win the game. I do. I really do believe that. Um, we know. We know. Um, this is the last game of Jaffa Tanganga's suspension, so he will be back and available and in contention for our trip next weekend to Hull. So we're going to have to deal with that. Will there be any players coming in today? Um, was there any players coming in yesterday? Has there been any players coming in yesterday? If there was, you would have known by now. So I think we're going to have to deal and go with what we got. So look, 
I'm going to stop rabbiting. I think I think we're going to win the game. I do think we're going to win the game. I think it's going to be tight. I think I think we're going to maybe rely on set pieces, being solid at, at the back as always. Um, and I think I, I'm going to go with Bristol City 1, Millwall 2. And I'm going to go with... Who am I going to go with? Let's go with George Savile to get one. And I'm going to go with George Hanneman to get one. Two, the two Georges, George Hanneman especially, come close in the week and close last weekend against uh, against Watford. So I think it's third time lucky for George Hanneman, the little terrier. Um, I think he will play. Um, he will play in the team that I'm going to show you. Um, maybe does he start with Duncan Watmore? Maybe he deserves it, but I do believe Duncan Watmore is better used at an impact substitution. No disrespect to the Ginger Ninja, because he is off the the charts now. I'm up and running, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with George Hanneman and George Savile, the two Georges, to get Millwall's first win of the season. If you think you know what the score is going to be, please don't be shy to drop it in the comments below. And all that's left for me to say is, come on, you Lions.